Okay, um, today I'm going to show you how to remove certain parts of the picture using MS Paint. So let me open up um, a folder with the pictures I want to work with. So select a picture by click on it and right click the picture, choose Open With, and we are going to choose a picture called MS Paint. And this is a free, a free program that comes with Windows. So if you don't have it on your computer, you may download the program uh, by searching on the web called MS Paint and install it on your computer. So I already have it. So let me choose Paint and open this picture. Notice that this picture is quite large and it's hard to manipulate. So we will use this slider on the lower right hand corner and uh, make it smaller. Okay, so now we see the whole picture. So our goal is to remove the speech bubble and this banner. So remove all the words on the picture. And there are two ways of, of doing it. Uh, the slow way is using an er eraser. For example, choose the eraser tool and I will pick the largest size and go ahead and, and remove this. See? it's quite time consuming so another faster way is to use the select tool click on select and choose free form selection so now let's lasso in everything that you want to get rid of Okay, here we go. So we select the part of the picture we want to remove and hit the delete button on your keyboard. Okay, so um, look at this. We've removed most part of the things we don't want, but there are still some remaining lines that we can remove with uh, an eraser tool. So for, um, for eraser tool, we want to make the picture um, to zoom in a bit and see the line uh, clearer. So let's get rid of the line over here. And also here, so unfortunately, part of the speech bubble is blocking on the window, which we need. So we will have to uh, add a line back in using the pen tool, which I will sh show you later. So first of all, we will remove all the lines that we don't need. Okay, scroll down. What else we don't need? Okay. So this girl's hair, this is unnecessary, I will remove this, okay. So these lines, um, looks like it's part of the room or um, a carpet. So but uh, what I notice is when we do the coloring using paints chainer, those lines on the floor can be problematic and um, to make the picture cleaner and more stylized, I want to remove unnecessary lines like this one. So let me use the select tool to um, get rid of this line. Okay, delete, gone. And I also want to remove um, these lines. Delete. 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 
Okay, um, oh, here's a little bit more. Delete this. Delete. Let's scan the picture. Is there anything else I want to clean up? Yeah, um, so we'll use eraser tool to pick up from the rest. Okay. Anything else? No, we... I, okay. Here, this little girl's eye is um, coming out outside of the face, and that which doesn't make sense. I will remove this part. Oops, I just removed part of the eye by accident. And no worries. Just use the undo, undo over here. Notice that there is a backward arrow to undo the changes, or you can use Control Z. Okay, so um, the next step is to fix this line to add that line back in. Remember, there was a speech bubble that blocked the line, and when we remove the speech bubble, the window needs to be fixed. So I will choose brush, and I find um, the pen tool to match our line uh, the best. So choose the, this color, and um, you can choose the size, the thickness of the line by picking the size. Okay, so let me see. Keep our hand steady. Okay, that's not too bad. Not the greatest, but um, when we do the coloring, uh, the imperfection will not show as much. Okay, so I will erase the, um, the extraneous line over here by using the eraser tool. Okay, that's pretty good. So I will save this picture um, in the cleaned up folder and color it a different name. Add an H to um, show that this picture is already done. So, save. Okay. Let's make the picture smaller to take a look and see the entire picture. So, we remove every part that that's not necessary. So, we're done. Okay. Save again and exit to double check if our um, Save picture looks all right. Oh, okay, here, here it is. And we can open it up with um, uh, another program, for example, photos, and see how does it look. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so we're done.